This week we are doing, I want to say dystopian worlds, but that's not necessarily the case. We're kind of mixing it with dystopian worlds and post-apocalyptic worlds. Because they're two different. I When I first suggested this, I thought it was the same thing, but it's not. So to clarify. It's a, it's a bad start when you have to clarify in the first minute what the topic of You're 100% right. But some of these movies are bangers, so I want to, and I don't know what other category to fit them in. Yeah, but it's not even necessarily the movie that we're focusing on. It's the world within the movie? Yeah. Yeah. So like, these are examples. Dystopian world would be like, um, 1984, you know, mm -hmm. or, uh. A Clockwork Orange, and then post-apocalyptic would be The Mad Book of Max. Eli, Mad Max. So, yeah. so it's basically what we're talking about today is worlds that are pretty shitty that could happen in the future. I mean, not maybe not could happen, but are placed in the future. Placed in the future and still have some kind of structure, some kind of government, some kind of authority. Well, not even maybe not. Mad Max but, doesn't like they don't really have a government or a structure. But there's a... There's a hierarchy, right. I guess, right? Okay. Right. Yeah. So, so I mean, well, I... I think, I think, sorry, I think that's kind of what separates it, though. Like, yeah. the dystopian from the post-apocalyptic. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because dystopian is usually, like, a corrupt government, correct? Like yeah. A, or, like, a... A lot of times you see a movie, Powers it's, it's like, up top. scientific. Mm -hmm. You know, like, they're, they're... It's like a science experiment. Like... Like a good mix between the is uh, twelve monkeys. Have yeah. you seen yeah. that? How yeah. it's like yeah, run by the scientists. That. Yeah, it's run by the scientists, but it's like they have to live underground because of the virus or whatever. Yeah. You know, something like that. Another one for dystopia is uh, Total Recall that I like. Which one's Total Recall? Is where that Sylvester Stallone? No. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, where he like wipes his own mind to go. Yeah. Undercover, yeah, and like the that corporation that has all the air is running everything and controlling everything but then they realize that there's a machine that can produce air but the company doesn't want to let it happen so right yeah so like demolition man yeah would be a dystopian world yep mm -hmm. all right because that's cool and then there's two levels to that too because there's two different worlds really yeah. going on there's the above ground world and then the underground world it's like there's two different yeah the, uh, there's two different hierarchies but then, uh, but there's an absolutely, there's a government. Yeah, that runs everything and controls everything. Yeah. And they're corrupt, yeah. Yeah, that's actually a very good example of dystopian worlds. Have you seen The Book of Eli? Thank you, Shane. What? Have you seen The Book of Eli? Of course. Yes, great movie. I, would you survive in there, in that world? Probably. I mean, if you get to a sanctuary, yeah. Yeah, like, if you get to one of those towns, you should be okay, but... How are you going to get... Uh, if you survive the first, you know... That's what I'm saying. Everybody thinks they're going to survive that first time. How did... What happened? Was it nuclear war? Yes. Uh, yeah, nuclear world that pretty much wiped everything out. All, all main water sources, stuff like that. Mm hmm So. I, uh... I started watching this show on Netflix, and, and it, it's from, like, the early 2000s called Jericho. Yes. yes. I, I might have people, talked about yeah, it. Yeah, you on. have, uh... It got canceled, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's a big, there's a big following of it. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a big it thing. was really good. Yeah, like, it was. The idea and of the show was really most, good. Most people didn't understand why it got canceled because it got canceled like abruptly. Yeah, and they kind of rushed the ending. Uh huh. Yeah, I like that. But it, that's like kind of like that. Mm -hmm. But they were just in the perfect place where the fallout didn't really hit them, so they're surviving in a post nuclear. That that's what I I feel like would be the most. Uh, like ideal pop probable way this would happen is yeah, a nuclear Yeah, most cost. definitely. That or like... Because once someone fires a missile, everyone else is going to oh, yeah. shoot missiles, yeah. I'd, I'd imagine, right? Yes. They're going to try to do as much damage before the first one hits. What a pussy. Well, I don't know. But yeah, I could see that happening. Did you hear about that story about the guy from Russia who <laughs> it was back in like the 80s? I don't Maybe even before that. But he was in charge of the, like, missile launch. 
employee. He was just like a lieutenant, and he was like on night watch. And one of the alarms started going off saying a missile was heading their way, but it was malfunctioning. And he decided not to shoot missiles back. But, like, if it, the protocol was for him to shoot off their yeah. missiles. And if he would have did that, it would have been a nuclear holocaust. Damn. But the machine was just messing up. And he, but they didn't know that at the time. Yeah, so he made that judgment call, and it was correct. But like he probably got, yeah, in a lot of trouble for not following know. protocol. I don't know. Get sent to the gulag. <laughs> would, uh, would you punish your employee if you were the if you were in charge of that guy, and he didn't fire? I feel like you you have to, but no, I don't you agree with don't. it. Well, if he's in the army and he didn't follow protocol, he he going to get. Reprimanded. Not necessarily. There's a judgment call. Yeah, but if it would have not been a mistake, like if it would have been an actual missile coming at him. But it was a mistake. Well, I so mean, you're, you're, you're saying that guy should be punished. I don't agree with it, but I think he. I don't say he should be punished. I, I'm saying he was punished. Just by how. He he had a nice little spanking. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think so. he got like killed for it, but he probably got demoted. He probably got his job changed. So I don't know. Okay, let's get know. back back on top. So what? Another one that could very possibly happen now is idiocracy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like whoa, it's the way we're going. Close. Yeah, my favorite movies. Scarily free close. on YouTube, by the way. Is it? Yeah. yeah. With ads, of course, but of course. But that, um, yeah, everybody just gets dumb, mm-hmm. and yeah, like, everything mean, becomes about sex and money. Yeah, they're like uh, planting crops with like Gatorade and shit, like see electrolytes. Yeah, I could see something like that happen, or that, or uh, uh, Wally. Yeah, how everyone just gets lazy and yeah, gets Wally's on trash the gets. Yeah. Mountains high and dude, that that pisses me off. Like any uh, highway exit ramp you go down has fucking trash. Yeah, yeah. I hate down. when people litter. I mean everywhere else too, but you just notice it a lot right there. Yeah, because you're sitting at the light, you're walking over, you know, probably at the homeless oh. people, and there's trash all around there. Like, I have been thinking about picking up trash when I walk my dog. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it's the right thing to do. I follow a Reddit. Um, community mm-hmm. called Detrashed and it's just people posting pictures of like before and after of like parks and stuff. See I do enjoy videos like that where like they're cleaning up the beach yeah. or mm-hmm. a park uh, it, completely different. The problem is yeah you pick up the trash off the beach and stuff and you take it to a landfill but it's like the trash doesn't disappear. Yeah. Well the, the people are the trash. What? The people are the trash. Who left the track? Yeah, mm. but I I, I I get what you're saying, Alex. Um, how like, unless it's fully recyclable, it's just going you can't somewhere. Burn it. Yeah, it's I mean, it, it's just going somewhere. I usually burn my tires, but not the trash. Yeah, everybody likes a good tire fire. <laughs> the um, but the point is, it's not just want like if you we can at least contain it. Yeah, yeah, but then you get the Wally. Yeah, at, at some point there is going to be too much trash. Yeah, I, it's because stuff takes million plastic takes thousands of years to yeah shoot that shit off in outer space. There's already so much space junk. Bro, there's so much space. There's plenty of room out like, there. Like like oh, past the orbit, like yeah. just, just fuck yeah, just just send that shit out there. You know how much money that would cost? Well, that's that it, it, capula- it uh, that. That's the human way right there. I'm not saying it's the right answer. We pollute our planet, so then let's just start fucking polluting outer space. I'm not saying it's space. the right answer, but survival is the right answer. Yeah. I mean, we should just develop a better way, a better... That's why I'm 100% natural. I don't use plastics <laughs> yeah. or modified whatever, anything, you know. I'm pure. You're drinking a Gatorade yeah. right now. It's a Powerade. Uh, Powerade. Superior beverage. <laughs> we, uh, we do not advertise for any sports drinks. Not yet. Okay, but yeah. Yeah, when I see people like just throwing trash around, it's like, 
I've seen people in a, a parking lot open their door and drop like a McDonald's mm-hmm. bag and then just shut their door. You should walk up to How them. How can you do that? Hey. Oh, yeah. Like you yelled at those kids. I did oh, yell at those kids. <laughs> I blacked out when that happened. I couldn't handle it. Then Alex yelling at kids. Yeah. The they were hoodlums. It's the most confrontation Alex has had in 10 years. <laughs> yeah. I wrote about it in my journal. Yeah. It's a good moment. So, what movie to you best depicts this category that we're talking about? Um, I would say... Like, well, either one, dystopian or post-apocalyptic. Well, what depicts it or is most... What you think of when you think of these two categories. Well, I didn't at first, but then when I got to think about it, I, I'm thinking Demolition Man. Mm-hmm. Or um, The Fifth Element? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a futuristic uh, governmental society. Yeah. It's not a movie yet, but I do believe they're making it. Um, I, I think they might have made one prior, but they're remaking the book into a movie uh, 1984. Yeah. I like that a lot. Um, and then, uh, like, uh, what's that? A Quiet Place? Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Yeah. I'm you know? Everything is dead and you're trying to hide from the, those monsters, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. See, I don't know, like, how far this extends. So, like, <clears throat> Red Dawn. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a... Uh, is that for America, same? it is. But it's right? not. I mean, it's, it's normal America up until that point happens. Yeah. So it's not like well, everything that doesn't count. Everything, that doesn't count. everything's America a until example. a point ha- something happens. Yeah, but that's a bad. Ex- I don't think that counts. Yeah. Have you ever seen The Postman? The Postman? Yeah. No. Uh, it has uh, who's that guy? The main character. Same guy from Waterworld. Uh, Kevin Costner. Yes. And everything's it's after everything falls apart. Everything it's like. The Wild West, almost. Mm-hmm. And this guy remembers how important the mail was. So he creates the post system again. And everybody's sending letters. And then he creates a uh, s- sort of, like, system with other postmans. And they're just freelancing the shit out of it. Um, and it's actually a very good movie. That sounds incredibly boring. No, it's yeah. actually not. I, I <laughs> so the climax watch. is him putting the... No, he gets, I, I believe... It's it's been years since I've seen it. Like he gets uh, attacked by people because they don't want the whole system to go back into place and stuff like that. Um, so he's fighting. So you're saying the United States Postal Service is what's it's the glue that's keeping this country together? Well, n- <laughs> no, no. I'm saying he believes that the mail is important for the human nature to communicate with one another to rebuild society. How like they have different little. Uh, conclaves, but no one's sharing information, no one's talking to each other, so he's the guy who's running back and forth with these letters to communicate, to rebuild it, to pass along information, mm. stuff like that. So, very good movie. Very good movie. Yeah. Kevin Costner. You know what I don't understand? The internet. <laughs> I don't get it. Like, how does it work? Alright, we're not getting it. <laughs> Because he said the the spread of information. That's the internet. Like, are there wires? You know what? <laughs> you know what word you don't hear very often nowadays? What? Gadget. Gadget. Go, go, gadget. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, what, what made you think of that? Technology. <laughs> um, all right, I got an example for you. Does Pleasantville count? Because it's not real. Yeah. But it is real. That was. See, I'll, I'll, I'd, I'd have to disagree with Alex. I don't think it counts. Did I say yeah? Yeah, I thought you didn't. You just say yeah. I, I don't think know. he said anything. He said splish splash. <laughs> no, he was like yeah. And then I think I said hmm. Um. Someone says no. I don't think so. No. No. I mean, it's an alternate uni- Like. Okay, I respect your opinion. But Great movie. Wrong. Great movie. Yeah. Pleasantville is a fantastic movie. I think it's slightly underrated because you you don't hear about it often. No. Pleasantville and Blast from the Past. Yes. Pleasantville's better, but yeah. You think so? Yeah. Blast from... Yeah. Yeah. Pleasantville's better. Both of them are quality flicks. 
I think it's the fifties aesthetic. Yeah. And and pleasant though. Yeah. That's yeah. Fun. And it has a like a like a deeper meaning than just yeah. The, the, yeah. Absolutely. You know, I like seeing your feelings. Man, fucking pleasant. What else we got? Um, have you ever seen? And this is probably uh, one of the highest rated movies in this category. I've seen it. Um, it's called Metropolis. Yes. You seen it? It's the Superman. No. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Okay, so it, it's it was made in 1927. Okay. Uh, it's about a futuristic city no, was divided between the working class and the uh, city planners, the higher ups, you know, the people who run it. Uh-huh. Um, the son of the main person falls in love with this working girl and he runs away with her. But then the. Uh, What's a working girl? What? I'm uh, serious. The, the, like... A girl from the working class. Okay. Like, uh, okay. Cause okay. I thought you meant like prostitute. That's no. what I thought. Thank you. I'm the asshole. She's actually a prophet who predicts. The coming of the savior to change the whole system. Whoa! Right. So the 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 uh ma- the guy's father who's in charge of everything is furious. So he's sending these guys after. Mm. Um, and it just depicts like the whole corruption of this, and how much power this guy has. And I think, for being a 1927 film, it it, it raises some eyebrows about how accurate that it kind of was. Is it Charlie Chaplin? <laughs> No. All right. That'd be impressive. But it was, was. German. It was German. It was German? Yeah. But what does that have to do with Charlie Chaplin? He's American. Yeah, but he did a lot of German skits. Because he looks like Hitler. Yeah. Dang. Dang. For a 1927 film, it grossed over $1.2 million. So. Damn. Is that inflation? inflation? What? Is that after inflation? No, that was pre- current. That was at the time. So Damn. that was a lot of fucking money. That was a lot. I was the only show in town, though. Well, <laughs> yeah, it was a great movie. I had to watch for a uh, college course. Mm-hmm. I didn't think much going into it, but yeah, it, it turned out to be a great movie. Here's one for you. You ready? The oh. Hunger Games. I was thinking that, yeah. Right? Have you seen those? Yeah. I've, I've, seen, like oh, I've seen the first one. <sighs> That's not even the good one. I yeah. Don't think. Well, I'm sorry. If I can get it I'll get around to it. I'm trying to knock out all Harry Potter. Would you just for once watch a movie that I tell you to watch? What? Don't even give me stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is beyond. Okay, so I thought, this, I thought this show would broaden, broaden your horizons. Yeah. Would expand your... I, th- your I think it has. You, because no, not really. You watch the countdown and then what you but anything I recommend nobody ever watches. You haven't so. recommended anything. Okay. I can't remember one Go thing. ahead, though. The Hunger Games, starring uh, Jennifer Lawrence, who I don't really like. Yeah, I don't like her as an act- actress either. I mean, she has some skills, but not... Some skills? Yeah. All right. I don't mind her at all. I like The Hunger Games, though, because yeah. it's like the dystopian world, but it also talks about like the whole revolution aspect. I like that a lot. Revolution. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you prefer the movies or the book? I never read the books. Ah, the books so you much better. Can't even read. <laughs> <laughs> no, I read the books first, and I did not pick uh, her as the main, you know, character. But she did a good job. I'll give her that. Um, but what were you picturing? Somebody completely different. Not and her. What? what? Uh, she didn't fit the part. Like they told her, they described her as being extremely skinny, bony. Um, so who would you want? The chick from the Lovely Bones. I have no idea. someone specific in mind. Yeah, no, she, fit, she to me, to me she fit the uh, description to T. Skinny, kind of short. Maybe, maybe she turned it down. She was in the running. I do know that. Really? Yeah. Because she was right age. How do you have all this inside information? Because I I really like the Hunger Games. Um, the books so much better than the movie, but the movies were were very good. Um, especially the last one, I liked the. Uh, scenes in the last one, the singing. Uh, so yeah, what do you think of the Hunger Games? I like them. They were cool. The fighting was cool. Yeah. I mean, I like the I like anything to do with like revolutions. Big fan of that. Yeah. I like, I like how the revolutions did one city at a time and just kept like marching. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
That's how I felt about uh, Harry Potter too. Like I read the book for or at least the first book f- before the movie came out. Yeah. And none of the characters looked like how mm-hmm. I imagined. Which I guess happens anytime you yeah, read a book. Yeah, yeah. That mental image, but it it's almost disappointing. Yeah, it is. It's gonna be disappointing when people find out what shame I'm outside. Ah. Yeah. They, <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Oh, it sounded it. like that. <laughs> I didn't mean, as soon as I said it, I was like, this is <laughs> fucked up. I shouldn't be saying this. If I can. I'm just saying, like, people have an image of shame and build up in their just, mind. Just imagine John Stamos, <laughs> and you got... That's not healthy. Greek god. Um, I didn't mean it like that. I do apologize. I meant... People have an image of shaman in their head, and it's probably not what shaman is. Yeah, no, no, we're not. Not that they're going to be disappointed. In uh, what they're gonna, looks I, I'll, like. I'll say it. They're going to be disappointed. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry. All right. Damn. I feel like we're on Dr. Phil right now. I'm a fucking idiot. Would you go on a talk show like that, Dr. Phil? No. <laughs> yeah. I would. If they paid me. They Do pay they get paid? I, think, I don't know. Depends who you are. Yeah, but you know, like, if you don't know going in, you know something's up. So. It's fake. You don't know what. If like you don't know why you're there, oh, you know something's up. Like if you're going on Murray, like <laughs> as a guy, hey, come on the Murray. It's Park not yeah. it's, uh, We're not gonna tell you why. You'll find out. You're not the dad. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's be honest. You know something's up. If you're going on the Murray show, let me ask you this completely unrelated question. So Corey's probably gonna get mad. Um, why would I get mad? Because you always get mad at me. Jeez. You always get. Damn, fighting like a couple. I never get mad. (laughs) It's an abusive relationship. What game show would you do the best on? Just because you said Mari and started making me think of like... Well, it's not a game show. I understand, but it's like cable. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. No, not Wheel of Fortune. Uh, Price is Right. Okay, I respect that. But yeah. Price is Right is kind of a... Uh, it's a game show. Yeah, no, it is a game show. I'm saying it's kind of a... There's a lot of luck involved in some other games. You just have to play... Sc- it, it definitely is best if you're the last one to guess oh, the Oh, yeah, price. because then you just you guess like $1 over like the... Like 501 Yeah. If somebody did that to me, Man, I'd be I don't fighting know what the parking lot show would be. Family Feud? Yeah. Um, if, if you're very knowledgeable, I think... Did you go on Family do. Feud with your family? No. With no, my, hell yeah. no. I would. Yeah, my, I, I got faith in my Hell no. No? No. <laughs> I, I picked some random ass strangers before I picked my family. I think they have to be family. I'll smack y'all on Family Feud. I could do Jeopardy. Nothing against my family, but... You couldn't I, do Jeopardy. I 100% you could get do Jeopardy. Fucking actually, actually, on actually Jeopardy. I, I, I think no. Alex would do... No. I don't. So, I don't think he'd win. I don't think he'd win, but he'd do solid. He'd come in second. No, you won't. Yes, I would, no, you bro. Wouldn't. You ever watch him play Jeopardy? He answers no. faster than the guys on there. Uh, I'm a Jeopardy master. Then get guy. on Jeopardy. I'm waiting he, for the application. Yeah, he took the... I submitted took, my test. Okay. Well, I have up to a year. <laughs> That's what they said. My fourth grade teacher was on Jeopardy. Your fourth grade teacher's a bitch. Damn. Yeah. She might be not with us. Oh. <laughs> 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 I don't know, bro. Mm. All right, P, I'm sorry. Anywho. I don't know if she is or not, so. Would you do, a, like, a physical, like, would you do Fear Factor? What's the prize in Fear Factor? Uh, not Fear. Do you remember? Was it a, a lot? It was, I don't think it was a I lot. Think it was, like a million like a, dollars. was it a million or a hundred K? I think it's a million. I don't think it was a hundred uh, K, but I think it was, like, maybe 500. Would you do it? I'll do Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I could do that. Nah, that's harder than Jeopardy, though. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. They not the beginning. F- you get the four answers to guess from. Right. Yeah, you but don't the, get the, anything the first like hundred yeah, thousand right. are right. like it's multiple choice. It's technically easier. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, like the first like hundred k questions are like easy. Or yeah. Or After right. that, you're like you're like I'm staying with a hundred k. What's the one with the briefcases? Uh, deal, deal or no deal? Yeah. Um, that that, that, that one physical just games like the challenge that shit's yeah. intense. I yeah. See, I couldn't do the physical challenges. But what's the one where you have to fit through the blocks in a certain shape? Oh, and is then, that a Nickelodeon one? No. Oh, no, it's not. And then there's the game, the the putt game. The oh, putt. That is so fucking rigged. You see right. that one? Yeah, the one uh, lady had a shot at one million dollars. She fucking it went. 
to the hole, stopped abruptly, and then went backwards. Uh, it, it was it was clear as fuck that it was rigged. Like it had enough momentum to go into the hole, and it just completely stopped and then rolled backwards. Like every like it's all over the internet that it was rigged. Then she should have got the million dollars. The, Illusion. One one <laughs> r- right in front of the hole, it was raised. And it was different. Like, you could tell, like, the, the ring around the, the hole was different than the grass around it. And it, it was just... Like it, a magnet? Yeah, that's what everyone was saying. There was a magnet to stop it. Because it just stopped. Man. And then it rolled back. Yeah, it, it, it was bad. I think I'm going Family Feud. Yeah. Uh, or, like, uh, see, like, American Gladiators. Probably Family Feud. Wipeout. What's that show that was on uh, Spike TV? Oh, the uh, <laughs> Asian one? Yeah. I like that one. That one's hard. Yeah, that yeah. one you're going to get fucked up. Yeah, I think I could do the Wipeout show. Yeah. Where they, the, the obstacle course. Yeah, because... It, I think I could do that. Yeah, because most people don't, like, do it correctly. Or they do it very stupid. Like, if at first you don't freaking, like, succeed on, like, like the big balls or whatever it's called. Just swim in the water. You're allowed to swim in the water? Yeah. No, you're not. Yeah. No, you're not. You have to go back and do it. No, you don't. Only in the later stages you have to pass everything. Bro, Shaman one. knows so much shit about I mean, so much yeah. random yeah, shit. Yeah, like the, the first one where they eliminate the, the most people and it just... Yeah, it, it, he's it, holding it right there. It says wipe out rule book. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, like... The first one is just time-based. Like, you just have to get through the course in a time. And the best, like, I think ten times to move on. Like, the later stages... You have to complete every stage in a certain, like, the best time wins. But the first step is, like, you just have to get through the course. So you see these people, like, crawling on this shit, and it's like, just go in the fucking water. It's faster. I'd do the, the Amazing Race. That'd be fun. Yeah. I've never actually seen that, though. So I have, like, I have no <laughs> you have to, idea. like, travel across the country. That's, like, across the world. Yeah. yeah. You have to get to a certain destination. But there's, like, rules. You can't do this. You can't do that. Yeah, you can't take, like... A plane. Yeah, you, um, you gotta go buy money. Like, yeah, like the. I don't know all the rules, but there's. Different there's things. this one show I saw that's kind of like that, but it's like a British TV show, mm-hmm. and you just you sign up for it's random people, right? And you're getting bounty hunted by these people, and you gotta get stay away for a certain amount of time, and you have any means you can do it. You can access an ATM once to get money out. But you have to stay hidden for like I think it's like uh, five days or something oh, like this. I can do it, right? I have a forgettable face. Well, there was this old guy who was like in the uh, uh, Secret Service, mm-hmm. and they didn't expect it. They saw he was just you know some old guy. Dude was a fucking master, bro. He taught these like young, this young couple couple to take him like out of town, and he's just fucking in the fucking woods. Dude, it, it was awesome. Well, this got uh, <laughs> off topic. We got away from dystopian worlds a little bit. Um, yeah, you're right. You got any more on the list, James? Um, Snowpiercer. Snowpiercer is a good one. Have yes. you seen that? Yeah. Yes. Well, I, the TV show, not the. Movie. You haven't seen the movie? No. The movies. Have you seen the movie or the TV yeah, show? Yeah, I've seen both. It's the oh. same thing, though. Is it? Yeah, the the, the TV show is based off the movie, and they're like, both... is it pre movie? I think it's post movie. How does that happen? I don't know, it might be pre-movie. I've never seen the movie, so I don't know. Yeah. The movie, the train crash. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Oh, damn. Oh, sorry. Oops. Um, yeah. Yeah, but then... I don't know if it's the same... I don't know if it's the same train. I think it's in the same, like... Oh, yeah, maybe. Squeaking again. Yeah. Is yeah. it me squeaking? Oh, it is, yeah. Oh. Did you switch the chairs? <laughs> I didn't. You uh-huh. still... I didn't switch you the chairs. I bitch. promise I didn't you switch You son the of a bitch. <laughs> okay, have you ever seen Elysium? No. Uh, what about Gattaca? Yeah, that's on the list. That is. That's like everyone's born perfect. Yeah, they genetically modify you in the, the uh, womb and shit, and uh, you come out perfect, and depending on how perfect you are, depends on your role in society. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this guy who was born with, uh, he wasn't the best, but he was still, you know, genetically modified. Huh. Uh, he steals the ge- genetics of this soon to be uh astronaut I think so. right and he, he he does this routine where he's changing his skin cells because they test when he goes in the thing 
he has this thing on his finger to test his blood because in order to get into the thing, you have to be blood drawn. Right. Right. So he's do- he's doing all this, but this detective is trying to find this missing person who apparently he killed, I think. Mm. Right. And he's just trying to make it to this launch because he's in line to you know go to the like the moon or something. Um, and the ending, I'm I'm gonna spoil it. Um. He makes it to this launch because the detective's like minutes behind him. And he can't stop the launch and he just goes up and he lives his dream of being an astronaut. That's the whole point of the movie. He wanted to be an astronaut. He met this guy who was paralyzed that helped him take his identity. So, good movie. We watched it in high school, didn't we? Yep, in biology. Yeah. Or not biology, whatever that class was. I don't know, I don't know if this counts, but I'm going to say it anyway. Good fucking co host the show. Do whatever I want. All right. Uh, video game series Fallout. Oh yeah, yeah. That's like a perfect example. It's oh like yeah, my favorite. Well, it's my favorite. Video. I love yeah, the, it's top, the it's vibe. Top. That fifties, like what you said, the fifties aesthetic. Yeah. Oh, well, it's, it's great. Futuristic and yeah. worn out. The futuristic fifties is one of my favorite things. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah because the fifties, you have that throwback. But then it, the whole thing is in the future. They thought we so, would be flying right by now. Oh, like, so <laughs> yeah, in Fallout, there's a nuclear bomb that drops, and it. So, it, when the ball drops, it's I think here like twenty seventy seven or some shit. Yeah. So it's the future, but it's future fifties, like we mm-hmm. said. And then there's a company called Vault Tech that sell sold and created new. It's a whole thing, but they. Uh, it's like Microsoft. People people went in vaults basically when the bomb started dropping. Mm-hmm. And then the the upper world died, and people inside the vaults had communities that lived for years and years and years, and then slowly people ventured out ventured out of the vaults, and that's like your the, the not ev- not everything on the outside died. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. So there's radioactive stuff, stuff. There's people out there that live in it. There's ghouls. There's and then the story is you come out of the vault, and in every game there's different stories and it's different years that take place in different cities. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, Fallout yeah. Four is Boston. Uh, Fallout, Vegas. Fallout New Vegas. Fallout um, Three is. Where's Fallout Three? Uh, Fallout Vegas goes all the way to like California, pretty much. Like it's like across the desert. Fallout Three. Come on. Is it New York? I was thinking it was New York, but. Fallout uh, Seventy Six no, is DC. in Appalachia. It's D.C., I'm pretty sure. No, Washington, D.C., yep. yeah. Yeah, all three is D.C. I'm not sure where one and two happen, to be honest. Yeah, they're, they're, I don't think they're, they're, they're very, D.C. games. Yeah, very specific. But, well, yeah, yeah, great series. Yeah, there's different governments that rule different, different legions in different areas, and you get to pick which one you want to go to. So it's, it's a replayable game as well. Oh, yeah, so many different, different outcomes. Different outcomes and scenarios. I like the building aspect in Ford. Build your own yeah, see, I, I like the story arcs more than the building, but... I spent so much time on the building. But it's a good time. Never played Radioactive. It. Uh, yeah, you need to, dude. No, it's the best. I've played every outcome of four. Played it four times. Yeah. I played more than that, but... Dang. There's a lot of video games that are, like, dystopian. Yeah. But Too many to really go into. We should have a video game podcast. Huh? Yeah, Call of Duty. Oh. All right, let's move on. Okay. Yeah. All right. You covered a lot of me. You hit the right one. First time for everything. Good let's job. go. Good job. If you have any more dystopian movies, please email at Shaman. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but so. Hit Any. Sh- hit Shaman. Or is the countdown? The countdown. It's number something. Memento. Yep. Weird movie. Oh, oh God. So, so confusing. As yeah, so confusing. <laughs> so it's about a guy whose wife gets murdered uh-huh. and raped. Mm-hmm. And he walks in on it. Um, he stops the one guy. F- he hits hits him, but then he gets hit from behind and loses his uh, short-term memory. Yeah, he can't yeah. remember anything for more than a Be- couple yeah. hours. Like, he remembers like everything minutes. before that. But after that... Yeah. Oh, I thought it was, like, less than a few hours. Well, there's... It's like, minutes, it seems. I thought like. it was, like, 15 it, d- it depends on his mood. If he's very calm, it lasts longer. 
And then uh, if he's agitated, it goes quicker. So, so he's trying to piece together who who who's the second guy that hit him over the head who was a part of it. And he's getting it's a revenge story. Yeah, but, but he can't remember what's happening. Fifteen right. Minutes so he has to, and you're you're watching the movie. The movie's just as you're just as confused as he is because the, the movie timeline starts, of yeah. the movie does not. The it kind of goes backwards. Exactly. It starts from the end, and then every, like, 15 minutes in the movie, it starts yeah. over again from the same spot, but then it's working backwards, and it's it's so confusing. See, do you to like that? Like, I, I, I did not like it. Like but I, I like the what, movie. Yeah. I appreciate what they're doing, but... It's telling the story backwards. Yeah. But why? You, you know how it's ending. Would it be a, is, it, is it a better story if it's told backwards? No. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, it did have a twist at the end. Yeah. 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 Um, and but, he, he leaves notes for himself, and he has Polaroids. He'll, like, if he meets someone, he'll take a picture of them and write on who it is, and, and like, little notes on, like, whether or not they, he can trust them or not. And then he has tattoos on his body. Tattoos to, of the facts he knows are facts. Yeah. Um, And to remind himself to, like, eat, shave, yeah, stuff like See, that. But you wouldn't... He'd be able to get a tattoo. He, he tattooed himself. Mm-hmm. I know, but to start over, oh, yeah, I guess. I guess. You're yeah. Right there, it, yeah. It, I mean, obviously, it took him a while. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was it was, the whole movie was hard to follow. Good movie. I don't think the, the directing was where it was at. There was one movie I saw. I can't remember what it was called, but it was about like a terrorist explosion. And every ten minutes, it would replay the explosion. It's called Eagle Eye. Is yeah. that what it is? Yeah, well, oh my! I hated what, that movie. E- Eagle Eye is with Shia Sh- LaBeouf. Uh, where the Vantage Point? No, Wait. no, no. You're thinking of the one on the train, right? No, I'm thinking the one. It's a politician giving a speech in a big crowd. Yeah, uh, that's what. Yeah, and every like ten minutes, it, it's a sure different it's point of view. Oh, I hated it. Really? I did not See, I like liked that. that. I did not like it that. Plays back from the beginning. Yeah. There's an episode of Community about that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. See, Eagle Eye is with uh, Shia LaBeouf. It's about the train. No, it's about the system that's controlling everything. He's trying to shut it down. That sounds too like. It's called Vantage Point. Let's look up Vantage Point. Yeah, I did not like that. Movie. But in Community, they're all playing. Or they're all sitting around the pizza cones, mm-hmm. and he's like, whoever. Everybody pick a number, what, whatever, whoever, whatever it lands on goes and gets the pizza. So every time they roll it, somebody else goes. Was and gets Dennis the pizza. Quaid in it? I don't know. I don't remember much about it. Damn, I swear it was called Eagle. Eagle. I'm sure someone probably. Well, I, I think it's Vantage Point. The attempted assassination of an American president is told. We told for several different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Vantage Point. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. I did not care, and that's almost like it's got this the black yeah, dude with that, the lazy eye in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Forrest Whitaker. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, I, I don't. I didn't like the way this was directed. It was a great story of how, it, you know, he meets and then he can't, you know, yeah. remember, and he has to do all these different things. He has to remind himself to eat, shave, all this sh- stuff, and then the twist at the end where like, um. I'm not gonna spoil the exact ending, but what he thinks is not what actually happens. Mm-hmm. So, and people aren't exactly who they seem. Mm-hmm. The twist was nice. Um, you could kind of start making it out closer to the end. Yeah. But you saw it coming, is that what you said? Yeah. Damn. He said that with so much coming. confidence too. Like, well, I, I I knew yeah, I saw that. the person that he was trusting shouldn't have been been trusted trusting but the the other person he was he was ex- suspecting to be the guy all right well let's not dwell yeah. on it what do you rate it mm. six, six four six four a little lower than i thought six two six two i didn't like it yeah the directing threw it for me like the story was good what about you man six point zero you he, said it was a little lower than I know, but he, the way he was talking yeah, it up. Right, was like, right, Damn, right. I'm not saying about that. Yeah, I right. also got a suggestion from somebody that we should write our ratings down uh-huh. before we go into this. So, okay. so it's not, not influence each that's, okay. that's, a, that's a valid point. So we should probably do that. It only took like 7,000 episodes in to yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Thirty years. And I was told that a long time ago. So shout out to you out there. I told you. Yeah. The yeah. next few movies on the countdown are foreign movies. Mm-hmm. Fun. I, th- I do believe. I, I think there's one Korean movie, a couple Indian movies. I'd rather enjoy. Yeah. So if if it's directed very nicely, th- those can be great movies. The, most of these are on the list for a reason. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Closer to the top, I think I've said is more uh, commercially successful movies. Yeah. So we're gonna start getting into those too. Yes, because these are rated off fan rating. Yeah. Not critically. Right. Right. All right. Okay. So what did you watch? Wow. Okay. So I I really wanted to talk about this, and um, before I actually say the movie's name, I've been waiting years for this movie. Mm. It's been uh, since 2017. Since it was announced that they were remaking this movie, I was ready to tear into this movie because it's a remake of a uh, movie based off a book. Okay. The movie was Dune. Oh. Right? Yeah. First one, terrible. Absolutely terrible. The remake, the this remake, I was ready to just tear it apart. Mm-hmm. It was actually very good. I heard good things about it. So much better. I mean, they kind of strayed a little away from what the book was. Um, only because I know the book, because I read it. My dad read it to me. Right? right. So, they strayed away from, from it a little bit, but not as much as the original movie. The original movie was, didn't explain shit, didn't talk about what was actually going on. Mm-hmm. Just bad. Mm-hmm. Right? Everybody thought, thought so. This was my fucking... What did you watch too? Uh, yeah. All right, well let's have it out then. Okay. It's fine. It's good. I, I, to me, great. I mean, uh, what's her name? Zendaya. Zendaya. Yeah. Her, her acting fell a little short to me. Um, she was only in it for like ten minutes, anyways. I'm not impressed by her acting. Yeah. I'm not. Um, it fell short. Like when she was actually in it, I didn't get anything. That's from dystopian me. world, right? Yeah. That's why I. This was the perfect time to talk about it, uh, but well, they're see, like in I went space. into watching it without reading the book. Okay, okay. Well, now what do you think of it? Just I being a movie a by itself, you liked it. I yeah, liked it. Good. I th- I think because the way they they made it, there's gonna be two parts. Mm-hmm. This is part one, yeah. which I agree a hundred percent because there's so much detail yes. that they, they were they were talking about, like the uh, reason why they gave the planet to them, mm-hmm. the reason why the spice was so important. Mm-hmm. The first movie ain't explain any shit. So, but see, here's the thing so against that though is the way it ended is almost like how like a hundred a Hunger Games yeah kind of ended. Um, that's just because I know that as an example. But like, when you look at Star Wars, obviously mm-hmm. it's, a, it's it's a, a series. That movie each ends, movie yeah. could be its own movie. Yeah, this one definitely it has it, an it left you hanging. Yeah, which. You either like it or don't, yeah. but but um, they didn't really advertise it as a part one. Um, like if you don't know, yeah, I thing. didn't know. So an a, uh, average watcher would just think like they'd go into like what the fuck, like they you know just what try I mean? and get two movies out of it, but right, yeah. So they they should have put more emphasis on it. Being yeah, I didn't know. I, I didn't know it was part one until I actually watched it. So yeah. But um, I agree with them doing two parts, at least two parts, because it's a rather detailed I think, story. I think it definitely could be Star Wars caliber. Yeah. I do. Be, to be honest, in my full opinion, one of the best movies made it within the last five years. Wow. If not the best. So do you know what it's about? I know what it is. Yeah. It's like there's a, the planet has spite, what's called spice in it. There's a war for it, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And one... one faction was in charge of it but the emperor kicked them out and sent a new house yeah house to and go and then they weren't vibing with that so but the empire planned it so they would go to war over it yeah and he was backing the guys who he took the plan away from like he wanted to take out the one house but he it's almost like how shit is now like you can't do it so you have someone else do it for yeah you. he Some... couldn't raise his hand against this You're house right without all the other small houses right. backing them. Right. So he took it away from this house knowing that they would retaliate against yeah. that house. So so then he's like, oh, shucks, damn. Uh, I did hear a little bit about this. So when was it written? When was Dune written? Uh, Long time ago. Yeah, I think it was like the 
twenties. So, when it was written, there are no computers. Correct. So in the movie, all the space stuff, all the everything is cranks and dials and knobs. Well, there are no 1960s. Computers. Really? Yeah. So exactly this is, I heard something kind of against that. The novel. Was what the someone I saw was well, saying. Well, that defeats the point that is I made. The reason why there's no computers, because there is. That's a noticeable thing, is because this movie is like 10,000 years into the future. So about half that time into the future, um, humans were advanced like how you would imagine they are would be in 5,000 years yeah. with computers, artificial intelligence, and everything. What happened was the AI became too strong, almost like a, a Terminator situation. That's what it is. It's and it was aggressive. Um, it was like a, a, they went to war with the AI. And they, they won. So the they humans banned won. Computers. So they banned computers. That's the Empire what it was. banned computers. That's what it was. So that's why they have swords, not like. Yeah. You know. They have like the, you know, technology, but technology we have to use. Not like. Well, not even have, that. Well, they have the uh, the force shields. Yeah. And, they have know, the piloting of the aircraft. But everything they, is user. Yeah. Uh, we have to control. Yeah, control. There's no automation. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because they don't want the computers to take over it. Yeah. Well, so, I kind of had a half a fact, and then you, you, yeah. you So, I like that, too, because it's it's almost... Like, well, the movie itself, which the book originally was supposed to be, like, an allegory for... The, it's very Muslim-themed. Yeah, it is. It's very... Uh, or Islamic. Like, the... Like, everyone... Well, they're on a desert planet, mm-hmm. first of all. The scenery is very similar to the Middle East. Um, uh, there's prayer... The prayers look very similar. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just very takes a lot from the Islamic faith. Yes. So, and it, it's 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 I think it's very good. I I like uh, what's the guy Timothy Charlemagne? Is mm-hmm. that his name? I think he. Did. And then the guy from Star Wars, Poe Dameron, uh, is the one guy I like him a lot. And then there's also like it's not only that, but he I don't understand. He's like a a priest or something. What yeah, is there's like a uh, it's it's like the Church of the Empire that they take everything. Like the Empire takes what they say and base his decisions off. Of, they're behind the scenes controlling everything, pretty much, right? They have this thing called it's like a voice mm-hmm. and it controls people. Yeah, like you so tell somebody to sit, they will he's, sit. He's he's touched by yeah, like. He this, he's supposed like to be the, the second coming, pretty much. Yeah. Um. He's supposed to be like that face, you know, Jesus, pretty much. And then the people who are native to the planet are like, I don't Bowing think you're down. that guy. Well, some Not some yet. of them, the the oh uh, ones in the city, only because the the sisters of that face came years ago to like instill all this fear of them. So they're bowing down to him, but the people outside the city. Like, you're not him. They heard that he's that guy, but they were like, you just look like some random kid to us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because he's what, like, I want to say 15, 16 in the movie? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> but he's, like, a great duelist and stuff, too. Like, fighter. And yeah, they trained him. He's obviously royalty. It's really good. So. It's really good. So. Great movie. But I heard the second one, because they should have already started production. Yeah. But they had to wait on the second one to see how well the first one did. So, that's, it, it's going to be it's, a while. Yeah, it's not supposed to come out until 2023. Yeah. That's the first estimated. And isn't there a series of books so they could make yeah. more mm-hmm. if they wanted to? Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's definitely a series so they could do it like the Star Wars. To be honest, I was getting the feel of Star Wars meets Games of Thrones almost. Yeah. So. Hmm. I could see that. Yeah. Especially with the swords and mm-hmm. stuff. About the titties. The sword. Oh, there's the sandworms too. Which oh. The swords are teeth of the sandworms, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. certain ones. The ones from that... Uh, planet are the teeth of the same ones, but the ones like the uh, the empires use are just right right with swords, because the body suits can deflect uh, high velocity impacts. But a sword, you're just swinging it. Sorry. And you can get through the shield. Yep. Huh. So I'll give it a watch. Definitely give it a watch. watch. So, HBO, HBO Max, Max or it's in movies. So. Yeah. You know what else I watched last night? Actually, finally watched Scream. Thank you. Yeah. So you did Same. watch something. I'm I'm sorry. There it is. I didn't realize like the whole movie. It's like 
they're playing off the fact that it's a scary movie. Like, yeah, I never. I, then I scary like that. movie plays off. Of that. Have you seen scary movie? Mm-hmm. Oh, so if you've seen scary movie, you pretty much seen Scream. I haven't seen the first scary movie. Oh well, it's. I Scream. think I, I've only seen like scary movie three, four, and five maybe. Oh. Well, yeah, scary movie one is based off of Scream. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Like, yeah, it's good. And then like all these quotes that I've always heard are like. I was like, oh shit, like the one girl who gets killed in the garage, she's like, I want to be in the sequel or something like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. oh fuck, like don't kill me, Ghostface. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, it's, it's a good movie. Uh, the, the cast first, was really good. The first one's definitely by far the best. Um, yeah. Yeah, that one's kind of just play off that success. But it's a great movie, it's a funny movie. The, the one guy is the guy from Jericho, uh, Billy. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. And yeah. then Shaggy. Yeah. He's he always really, yeah, he's always a good actor. Yeah, I liked it though. It was, I liked how it, it was. It kind of made fun of itself at times, in a way. No, yeah, like, it no, didn't yeah. break the fourth wall, but it, it definitely was like. It was yeah. good, and their plot was cool. Yeah. I think you stabbed me too deep, man. I'm <laughs> feeling woozy over here. Yeah. <laughs> Shaggy. I liked it. I liked it. I, I'm disappointed. It took me this 27 years to fucking watch it, but. Yeah. It was good. What'd you watch? I watched nothing like what you guys watched. Um, I started um, the Goldbergs. Okay. The Gold. That's like an eighties remake, it's right? Like, it's like or um, it's not a remake, but it's it takes life place in the eighties. It's 80s. like the Wonder Years, based in the eighties. Yeah. Is it, is it off someone's name? life? I don't think so. Not that I'm aware. Maybe it could be. It's got I, the one Evan guy from Goldberg's Kirk. a guy, right? Yeah, but that, I don't think that's... I mean, it may be. It's probably loosely based on whoever wrote it. Right. It's like, but it's funny. It's a funny sitcom. It's based off Goldberg's childhood and family in the 1980s, so it's based off his life. Yeah, well, it's got the guy from uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm in it. I forget his name. The main guy? The dad. Yeah. Um, no, it's not Larry Dave. Oh. I, I forget all their names. What's it? ABC? Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, uh, it's relatable. I didn't, I was a little bit younger than that. Yeah. But it's still, I still get the references and stuff, so. It's good shit. Good, no, good nostalgia. I am, man. What do you want me to do? That's like, I mean, I, I like, that's why I like Stranger Things so much, because it, obviously I wasn't alive, or at least a kid, well, I wasn't alive in the 80s. But it, it's so rich of that oh, yeah. vibe. Like the last whatever. episode I watched, they're fighting over the thing that changes the channel. Like it's like a big box thing. Yeah. It's like connected, and they hit the right combination, and there's like fuzzy porn that's on, and they like let it. They don't. Turn that's like it that off. Friends episode. It is. It's kind of like that, but <laughs> it's just fun. His him and his brother are finally bonding. Like over oh, fuzzy with, porn. With porn yeah. This is funny. This is a funny show. Yeah? Give it a watch. There's a new show. Lighthearted. I don't know what channel it's on, but it's called Ghosts. And it looks pretty good. It, it's like this chick that moves into a house and she can see ghosts and there's like five or six oh, ghosts. Oh, yeah, I know what it's... And she's ignoring them and they're trying to get... This is just like the pilot preview I saw that she's ignoring them and they're trying to get her attention it looks pretty funny yeah I usually don't go for sitcoms yeah they're trying to get them out and stuff yeah yeah Yeah. I'm I'm I did just watch a scene from Big Bang from the Big Bang Theory it wasn't terrible yeah it wasn't terrible you haven't seen that show I just I don't know man so I have a second what did you watch um kind of goes off of the dune I was really into the space aspect and you know the whole no, conquering the universe kind of deal. Uh, it's a brand new show. It's on Apple TV. No, no shout out. Um, but it's called The Foundation. Okay. Okay. So the premise is there's only like eight episodes so far. I've already watched all of them. Um, great show. Um, so this uh, scientist or whatever you want to call him predicts. What would you call him? Well, he's like a f- f- uh, professor. Okay. Um, but he's also a scientist. He creates this study, um, and it's predicting the outcome of this empire. They call it, you know, the empire, um, to fall within the next, like, believe, five hundred years. 
obviously this empire controls everything that's televised, everything that's controlled, right? They don't like this. So they put him on trial. But right before he, he does this, right before they put him on trial, he puts out this contest to prove this theorem that no one's been able to prove in the last 2,000 years since the empire started. This girl from this backwater planet solves it. They don't even have a freaking uh, university on this planet because they don't believe in, you know, science and all that stuff. She enters this contest with nobody knowing it. She wins it. She gets taken to this planet, the main planet of this, the Empire, just to get put on trial with him, mm -hmm. right? And they try to pr use her to prove him wrong, but she's like, yes, his uh, algorithm is correct. So they're put on trial. Then their star bridge is pretty much like this port that's above the, the uh, planet. Gets a terrorist attack, falls to the ground. They blame this one planet off in the distance. And they start to believe them? Yeah. So everybody's... Do they start banging? No, it's the one chick's... The chick's like... 17. Mm. And he's like 54. Do um, <laughs> right? But, so... They... The, uh... The yeah. Empire can't kill him now because everybody believes him and whatnot and stuff like that. So they banish him to the this one planet and it goes on and so that's where the foundation is created and it's getting into it like how more and more things he kind of predicted are coming true but on the way to the planet that he got banished to he gets killed um people think he got killed spoilers already um Scott Shannon great show people so people can't far. see your air quotes cause yeah. you're not a yeah <laughs> that's why I said people think he got killed um Great show, and it, it, it time hops a little bit um, from, like, you know, oh, Alex is out. <laughs> five years later, you know, ten years later, stuff like that. But the same people are kind of still in the picture. It's not like, you know, whatever. But great show so far. I, I, I'm into it. So Check it out. Yeah. With Space Force to come back. R.I.P. Well, that's, it's coming back, I think, but I still don't know where. Mm. Why does every empire is bad? I, I, I I've gotten this thing from every show that has an empire it always turns out bad even the show empires are kind of bad yeah exactly like is that just from our history of dealing with empires that th they're all corrupt it's just, a, it's just a bad point of view you know if you look at it time wise the empire that we are living in right now is due to fall yeah shortly. we're following like the the uh, uh greek tragedy right. and stuff like that where like they fell Pretty much the same how we're going right now. Hooray. Yep. Luckily, I'm... I just won't be here to see it. Be well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> then for, like me, like I'm pretty self-sufficient. You know, I can farm and raise livestock and hunt. So I should be good. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho. I have a stash. Of what? S stuff. Food. Hawaiian punch. <laughs> Possibly. All right. All right. Well, that's it for this episode. Anybody got anything else? No. Yeah. Right. Till next time. Bye. Be safe.